Om dear everyone. So not too long ago I had a discussion with a couple of my friends and we were talking about receiver antennas. Some mentioned that the copper antenna that came with most AIOs are kind of crappy and doesn't have very good range. But looking at it from a different perspective, I've always had the copper antennas for my AIOs. Like this one on the Cross F4 is also a copper antenna and the Mobula 8 HD0 is also with the copper antenna as well as my 20 gram Tiny Whoop which also comes with the copper antennas. I've had really good experiences with them and never had any issues with distance. Well, not at least not more than a kilometer. So the ones that we're used to is the T antenna for the EP1 for Express LRS and the ceramic antenna for the EP2. And these have proven themselves to be really reliable, but not so much for the copper antenna. So we'll take the copper antenna quads. I'm going to be flying my Mobile 8 DJI 03 and take it to the field and kind of do a range test. So let's go. Okay, so I'm back at this field and I'm going to try to go as far as I can go. Again, it's about 400 meters-ish, maybe slightly further. Like I'll see how far I could actually make. It's either the video crapping out on me first or lost signal from the copper antenna. So we'll see how it goes. Basically, this is like kind of a mid-range test. I wish it could go further, but it's not that far away. I hope you enjoy this video.
So, as I mentioned before, the copper antenna is not really fantastic, but it is pretty decent. I mean, it 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 done mounted correctly. It it shouldn't give you very bad RSSI loss. Um, I and also just making sure that nothing is touching the copper antenna. Then the copper antenna should be you know just at a location where it's not covered. All right, so. I hope you enjoyed this video. Till the next one, thank you all for watching and see you guys again soon. Ciao!